and we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to change the lip color. Another one of these tasks that you have to do over and over again, so it's one of the basic tasks. Let me copy the region right here and I'm on the copy layer, so the one that's on top. I zoom in holding control and I use the mouse wheel for that. And I use the path tool and I go over it with left clicks. As always, the more time you put in, the better results will look. But in this photo, I'm going to zoom out a little bit anyway, so I don't have to worry too much about the details. When I've reached the end of the path, I'll just hold control and I left click to close it. And now I want to curve these lines a little bit, so I hover over them and I left click drag and it's going to curve them. You can also see that it gives me these handles, so at the bottom, so the bottom part of the lips, I'm going to use the handles to adjust the angle of my curve. Once again, it's a left click on the handles, and then you can drag them around to adjust the angle. In this case, I don't have teeth in between, so I can have this fully closed shape for upper and lower lip. If you don't have that, I'm going to show you afterwards what you should be doing. But for now, I'm fine with this, so I right click, select, and use from path. This is going to create a selection. And now I go to colors right here and use color balance. Make sure the previous checked, and I've got preserve luminosity also checked. Most important are the midtones right here. If you want to, for example, make the lips red, go down right here towards the magenta part and increase the red part. Obviously don't go to the extremes, you want to make it look natural. You can also adjust the highlights and shadows, but the midtones, they have the most impact. In this case, I've got a couple of highlights, so I may want to go down here towards cyan. But for the shadows, you can see there is no impact, so I can just leave it. In case you get lost, just click on reset range right here. It's going to restore the original. So in my case, let me just add some reds and go down towards magenta. And then we have red lips. That are fine for this example. I confirm it be okay. I zoom out and I go to select none. And I can make it invisible and you can see the difference. So this was the original, this is now our adjusted result. And at this zoom level, it looks totally natural. So getting back to it, let's say you have the teeth in between, you can simply create two segments for upper and lower lip. So I'll just quickly go over it. And again, I close the shapes by holding control at the last node right here. And then right click select from path and both areas should be selected at the same time. So this is how you can deal with your lips if there are teeth in between in your photo. And this is the process that I use to change the lip color in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.